So in this lecture, I will be implementing a sorting algorithm called bubble sort algorithm. So at infer, we have to include the header file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to include string. I'll tell you why I'm including string. And then I'm going to include namespace. And then I'm going to write the main function now and I'm going to say that I'm declaring a variable called n and I'm printing enter the number of elements you want, let's say. And I'm ending the line. And ending the line. And then I'm gonna give input n using cn. Now I'm gonna declare an array of n integers. For that, I'm going to write int array of n. Now I have declared an array of n integers. So I have to create the array, right? I want an array which has to be sorted. So I'm going to give user input as to the array. So see out our original array, the original array is I'm going to give n line and then I'm going to iterate over what I'm going to give as input. So for int i equals 0, i less than n, and I'm going to give, I'm going to increment i, then I'm going to give user input the array of i. So I've declared an original array, I've declared an array of n integers, and I'm going to say I'm going to give the original array which which we want it to be sorted and I'm going to iterate over the array and I'm going to provide or give input array elements to the original array. Now what I'm going to do is perform the sorting function. So I'm going to perform bubble sort. So for that I'm going to implement a function called bubble sort bubble sort of I'm going to pass two parameters array and n into this and then I'm going to end it so I have to perform a function right so I have to write a function so I'll come up here and I'm going to tell void bubble sort of int array I'm going to pass an integer array as a parameter and I'm going to also pass another variable n as the parameter now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement a for loop for iterating over the array. For int i equals 0, i less than the n minus 1th element, I'm going to increment i. And next, I want to include another for loop, which is a nested for loop. And I'm going to say int j equals 0. I'm going to say j less than n minus i minus 1 plus plus j or increment j. So what I've done in this, what is the meaning of this? So basically, we created a nested loop that iterates over the array from the first element to the last element before the last i elements. So that is the meaning of this line. So what we are doing is that we are we want to avoid unnecessary comparisons with already sorted elements. We don't want to keep on comparing with already sorted elements. That is a waste of time. And uh, so we are implementing n minus i minus 1 in this. So next, what I have to do is I am going to give an if statement saying that if the array 
of j is greater than the array of j plus 1 which is saying that if my current element is greater than the next element then I have to switch it then I have to swap it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable called temp and then I'm going to assign it to j to the, to the current element which we have which we which is greater than the next element now what I'm going to do I'm going to tell array of j should be set to array of j plus 1 which is the lesser element now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the array of j plus 1th element which is array of j plus 1 should be equal to the temp which is the greater element so yeah now we have performed the swapping function so now so now what we have to do is I'm going to print the sorted function sort sorted array we have sorted the array now we have to see our sorted array right so for that I'm going to write C out and I'm going to give some line the sorted array the sorted array is I'm going to tell then I'm going to give a line and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a for loop that iterates over the sorted array and i less than n plus 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 i and then I'm going to write C out we want to we want the sorted elements we want right so array of i and then I'm going to give suitable space here for better viewing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to return 0 because we have used int main so yeah that is the function so I'm going to print this now I'm going to execute this So yeah, now enter the number of elements we have. We want, let's say, five elements. I'm going to give three, six, four. And then I'm going to print the sorted array. Yeah, so this is the sorted array we want. So yeah, we have implemented the bubble sort algorithm. I've included a string, right? Why, why have I included a string? Okay, so now we have passed integer array. Only we can pass integer elements into the array. But what if we want names into the array what 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 do we do and i'm also going to write i have to change it to string basically i have to change the integer to string so i'm also going to change string here and then what i'm going to do is check for if anything else i have to change string array string array i'm also going to tell string temp because we are storing a string element right of the array right so we are going to tell string temp and and yeah string array of n I've declared an array string array and then I'm gonna so now we have the number of elements which we want let's say five again I'm gonna I'm gonna give some names I'm gonna say Dylan and I'm gonna say Michael Michael and I'm gonna say Miguel and I'm gonna say Justin and I'm gonna say Sam so I want the sorted array of this how do we do that and I'm also I'm also going to I'm gonna remove Sam and I'm gonna give some Aaron let's say I'm gonna give Aaron so we want the sorted array of this so yeah we have the sorted array so so this is how we start names and in the previous example, we saw how to sort numbers in an array, but now we saw how to sort and names in the array. So, yeah. So, so hope you guys enjoyed this.